The aerodynamic oscillations, also known as porpoising, have hampered cars' performances and raised safety concerns for drivers. In the interest of the safety of drivers, the FIA has intervened in the matter and issued a technical directive to reduce porpoising. Porpoising has been in the news quite a lot this season, and Mercedes seem to have been affected by the issue along with other teams. It has been the case with the teams after the introduction of the new rules for 2022, which aimed at making the races more competitive. These rules required teams to build their cars from scratch, which has shifted the dynamics this season. However, it has also brought the issue of bouncing. In this video, we are going to look at what porpoising is, the FIA's technical directive to solve it, and the responses from teams to the FIA's intervention. Porpoising is the bouncing car's experience when they do not have a balanced downforce to keep the car close to the ground. When downforce is unbalanced, the cars come very close to the ground and block the flow of air completely, which pushes the car upwards. This motion continues as the car moves at high speed and bounces up and down, making it a nightmare for the drivers to drive the car. Mercedes and some other teams were facing it since the start of the season. However, after the violent bouncing teams experienced during the practice and qualifying races in Baku, the issue has come into the limelight. So much so, during the race, Lewis Hamilton said on the radio, my back is killing me. And talking to the media after the race, he said, it was the most painful race I've experienced. These concerns were not only limited to Mercedes. McLaren's Daniel Ricciardo was suffering back problems after the Azerbaijan Grand Prix, whilst Alfa Tauri's Pierre Gasly tagged porpoising at its worst level, even on the race day. After the race, Gasly said, the whole weekend, I've never been as tight driving an F1 car. It's never been as brutal. It's not healthy, that's for sure. That's why we discussed it at the driver's briefing and kind of alerted them on this problem and try to ask them to find solutions to save us from ending up with a cane at 30 years old. Because the issue was directly linked to the safety of the drivers, FIA took matters into their own hands, launched an investigation into the matter, and has now come up with a technical directive to deal with porpoising. The first proposed measure by the FIA to deal with the issue is closer scrutiny of the planks and skids, both in terms of their design and the observed wear. The second is that the FIA will define a metric based on the car's vertical acceleration that will give a quantitative limit for an acceptable level of vertical oscillations. This simply means that there will be a metric to know whether the car is bouncing excessively. It is not in place as of now, but a formula is yet to be designed by them which will give a safe limit. Moreover, the FIA has welcomed all the teams to come together and give their thoughts on the matter to fix the issue completely. Some teams have blamed Mercedes for raising and making it a big issue. However, it is not the only team which has raised concerns about it. Safety of cars is paramount and steps to remove any obstacles which may be hampering it should be appreciated. The FIA has taken both long-term and short-term effects of the issue. Talking about these concerns, the FIA issued the following statement. In a sport where the competitors are routinely driving at speeds in excess of 300 km per hour, it is considered that all of the driver's concentration needs to be focused on that task and that excessive fatigue or pain experienced by a driver could have significant consequences should it result in a loss of concentration. In addition, the FIA has concerns in relation to the immediate physical impact on the health of the drivers, a number of whom have reported back pain following recent events. These concerns are legitimate, as after the bouncy track in Monaco and Baku, drivers have to again be ready to ride another bumpy track in Montreal within a week, and F1 cars are not going to change much till the 2026 season and that is a very long time for drivers to put their health on the line by driving in the same setup. Mercedes seems to be completely on board with the FIA's intervention because the issue is not related to an isolated team. Talking to motorsport.com, Mercedes team principal Toto Wolff said, at the core of this topic is that since the beginning of the season, race drivers have been complaining about paying to drive these cars. Back pain, blurred vision we're talking about, micro concussions and people giving their feedback in literally every team. This is something we just need to tackle. 
whatever the solution is and whatever technology can be implemented to go in that direction. We need to be aware that this is not about cutting a wiglet that is an advantage for a team or a double diffuser. It is that all of us team principals and teams, we have the responsibility to not take this lightly. Ferrari team principal Mattia Binotto raised concerns over the legitimacy of the technical directive to change rules and told media after Sunday's race, for us, that TD is not applicable. It's something we mentioned to the FIA. The reason they are not applicable is a TD is there to clarify regulations or TDs to address policy. But a TD is not there to change the regulation. You cannot change the regulations through a TD. That's a guidance. On the safety grounds, what can FIA do is to first have consultations with the TAC change the regulations and go straight to the World Council for formal approval of the change of the regulations without having the approval of the teams on the safety grounds. Furthermore, Christian Horner of Team Red Bull showed concerns about the implementation of the rules as he told motorsport.com, I think it just needs a bit more discussion to understand how it's going to be policed. That's obviously always the issue with these things. So I think it's well intended, but like all these things, the implementation is crucial. What if you have a change in conditions, the wind changes or whatever? So I think that's always going to be the difficulty. But look, I think they've reacted to the pressure that was put on them, which was inevitable, on the grounds of safety, of course. With all these things, the implementation is important and the understanding of the metrics. Nonetheless, the FIA has taken a positive step forward and teams must cooperate to come to a solution to porpoising. Let us know in the comments section what you think about the FIA's intervention. And that's all we have for you today. Make sure to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel and turn on the notification bell. Thanks for watching and I'll see you all in the next video.